Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> yeah. So we just arrived in France not too long ago. We didn't feel much yet because we were trying to get used to the country. Of course, it's hard to. People don't realize that we start all over again for real this time because we even start all over again in a different country. So this time we need to take the proper time to do things right. And also we need to take the time to have the design of our boat ready to start building. But while the design is not 100%, we decide to leave some boats for some, you know, <laughs> ideas. ideas and some inspirations. And today we are at Can Yacht Festival to visit two special boats. So we are arriving to visit the Garcia 60. They're just launching on this yacht festival. We call it like uh, adventure yeah. in yacht class. You will see inside there's a lot of uh, small details, yeah. like uh, refinement, it's very strong. It's to explore but with comfort. Exactly. <laughs> Everything's a surprise. Okay, so <laughs> So here you have a lot of storage. Mm -hmm. So here you have the outboard engine. Yes. It's very easy mm -hmm. to put it mm -hmm. if you want to leave everything. Storage here. So here you have the navigation area. Mm -hmm. So you can do everything from here. You can control your winch, every engine. All the lines come to here. Yes, every time. That's good, so yeah. It is very comfortable. Yeah. Because and you have this nice part, you can just chill. Be dry. Yes, you can be dry. We have some um, you can close this part of the cockpit. Let's go this way. Yes. So on here you have some access for the gas wall and for the water. So on this one we have a carbon mast. That's huge. Yeah, I like the the, the, the height of this rail. That's it's really for good. For the safety. Yes. It's better. It's amazing. With granny bars, the okay. same for the safety. It's yes. perfect. You can do everything you want around the mast, and you are safe. So here, of course, you have your stay cell, solent, unfurler, mm -hmm. hydraulic furler. Mm -hmm. Here, you have the storage for the sails. A big storage. <laughs> big. Yeah, just for Very the sails. <laughs> so, on this one, they wanted to isolate this part. Mm -hmm. uh, in general, you can see the structure of the boat. Okay. This one, oh, you can see the chain and you have a stopper for the chain. So yes, it yes, is a yes. quick access to this part. And how long does it take to build a 60? 12 good months. Well, well. 12 well, good <laughs> months. That's really quick. Here it's for the chain. Yes. Okay. This one is only uh, when you're in the south. Oh, just for lines? Like just for lines. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And this one is really just for the anchor, the, ch the chain okay. of the anchor. Of course, yes. sand bass, perfect. Yes. You can imagine yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Time to check inside. In you can sit here and you can check everything yes. around. You don't need to be outside cold on the night when you need to take care of the boat. This is this, the, this the water is, area. Yeah, this is the main thing about Garcia. Yeah, our new boat is going to be the same as this. Oh, heating system here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could edit the videos here. You can also open it no, and need. this one goes down. Okay. Oh, yeah, and then you see the format down. that's not really, really nice little detail. Like this stays the same, the table goes around mm. this. Yeah. yeah. That's really, really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. And I like how raised this is. Mm. Because if it's raised, you see a way better from here than if it wasn't. So here you have a new kitchen. It seems like you have a really good visibility from the and kitchen, actually. You have as well a good visibility oh. everywhere on this boat. Yeah. This is a concept. Yeah. That's like a literally bigger than a lot of apartments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there is a you have the possibility of the owners to decide some finishings and to some customization. Yes. Not 100%, but like some customization. Yes. You can choose the color. I think you can choose the floor mm -hmm. here. So here you can have access to the chain. Oh, here's a technical area. It's like a laundry room. Oh, it's a washing machine. Don't show that her. She's been asking for a washing machine for a long time. But, so here's the chain locker. But yes, it is here. Oh, another freezer. Oh, and another one. <laughs> How many freezers do you have on this boat? It's like four freezers. <laughs> well, you live for a long time and yeah. this boat needs to have a lot of autonomy. You can sail for a long yes. time without a problem. That's you actually... have a big tank, you have everything yes. you need. 2,000 liters of diesel. We thought we had too much, so our last boat we had 635. 
Okay. And we fuel once a year, and every time we fuel, it's like, oh, <laughs> get my car. <laughs> <laughs> this boat, you can go to Antarctica and yes, other places, and that you you're need never, to heat it up. Yeah, and everywhere. you're not, you use yeah. diesel for more than just the proportion, yes. A guest Ooh. cabin? Guest cabin. Ah, only the guest. <laughs> yes, I, I want to be a guest here, can you? <laughs> yes, me too, I can, want to be a guest. Can, can you, new, a new owner, just invite us to come over to spend some time? <laughs> Yeah, sometimes <laughs> happens. <laughs> so you have your desk, you have storage. So I always want to see how big is the shower cabin. The, another reason why we are going to build a new boat is because she wants a shower cabin. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the workshop. Yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's really good. Very cute. Um, the flag's alright. Oh. He's going to travel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's prepared. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the annoying part of living on a boat and traveling. Yes. When you're in the Caribbean, you change country every week. Yeah. And every week you go to customs. Every week. You... Yeah. Oh, here's the tanks. Yes. Here you have the water tank, for example. Mm -hmm. That's just the guest room. <laughs> That's I mean, just, yeah. Yeah, about this big, I think it's better to have a friend that has one than you. <laughs> you don't <laughs> yeah. need to care about the, yeah. oh, taking care of the pool. Under this beautiful sofa, mm -hmm. uh, you have access to the engine technical room. Everything, the hydraulic system, okay. electronic system, everything is under here. They stole our idea. No. Mm. I, I, I didn't know that yet. I didn't know you have like this, but our idea was to do the entry same. the same way. Mm. Hydraulic system, electronics, water maker. Yes. Yeah. That's the advantage of having like a big boat is that you can have space to actually walk in the engine room and see the equipment. Because in a small boat, every time you need to fix something. Mm. It's just, uh, we call boat yoga. <laughs> you need to stretch and you need to put your arm and then you, like, you cannot see what no, you're doing see. because it's just small to, you put more equipment than you have space for yeah. in a small boat. In a big boat you have space. For okay, it. let's go for this skipper oh. cabin. Now I'm gonna find out that I could even be the skipper that I would be happy anyways. <laughs> the skipper is quite happy here. Oh, that's a... Nice, nice cabin, yeah. To be honest, it's the best one. It's the one that shakes less. It's right on the center of the boat, really low. Lucky skipper. How high is this? The master cabin. Not a big one. Yeah, that's impressive. That's pretty big. You like it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna make, give me one? <laughs> I wish, you know, keep asking one day, you know, maybe. if I win the lottery, maybe. It is important to dream. <laughs> no, if we didn't dream, we wouldn't be here, to be honest. This door is really, really cool. And then you, and when you close the door, you're actually tight inside, it's like yes. watertight. Yeah. I believe that no matter how big the boat is, you always have some inspirations that you can use in a smaller boat. Thanks so much. You can follow. Okay. Yeah. It's a sticker. Old life. So it's just put Odd Life Crafting on okay. YouTube, it's going to show up. Yeah, I hope we did justice on the video yes. about this boat because the boat is just unbelievably amazing and we are always so excited to see ourselves a boat that's hard to <laughs> film actually because we're like we have a limited time we want to see as much as we can but also we want to show you guys as much as we can and this boat is just like a huge inspiration of course a 60 foot we're not, never gonna have a 60 foot I, I don't believe say never. I don't say never but I, I, I don't believe we're ever gonna have but no matter how big the boat is if the solutions are good you can shrink down and use some solutions <laughs> for a smaller boat so it's a really really cool boat now the next step is to visit the Moody 41 that's a boat that someone always wanted to go inside <laughs> and that's actually a lot closer to what we are building of course it's a fiberglass boat it looks a lot different than our boat but a lot of the solutions Solutions are similar, so I think it's important for us that are, we are going to build the interior of our boat to see the Moody 41. By the way, we want to thank Meta yet Philip. for inviting us. <laughs> we came to the show with the boat yard that we are actually going to build our new boat, and that's so awesome because it's a good opportunity for us to you know meet other people and also to connect more with the boat yard because we are staying on the same Airbnb, we are <laughs> hanging out, and that's okay. awesome. And it's really cool. We helped set up the booth yesterday. There's so much history. We're going to show you some pictures inside. It's really really cool.
day two of the tours. Yeah, today we are going to do a tour on a boat that Roberta wants to see, the Moody 41. Yeah, finally. Come with us. <laughs> Let's just start from here. You can see the rudder, you can see the rudder system and it's really easy access to fix anything. So the reason why we want to visit the Moody 41 is because this, I believe, is the closest boat we can get from the boat you're going to build. Uh, it's not the same thing, of course, it's a, a lot of different things, but also a lot of similar things. The concept of having the, the steering wheel higher than the cockpit mm -hmm. like this, with the same level from the cockpit to the inside. This is the base concept of our new boat and that's also the base concept of Moody. The design of the cockpit is really similar and that's really cool because we can see in person because one thing is to design a boat and having the paper, the other thing is to see in real life. The main difference is that our boat is going to be aluminum and this is fiberglass, but the concept is great. The cockpit size is actually great. Yeah, I think I would really like to sit here actually, it's a good seat because we think there's just two seats in the cockpit but here is also a seat, it's really yes. good. Another really cool thing about the cockpit is that you can actually open this bimini really easy, it slides forward so you have the choice of having like a sun, open sun area or you have the choice of being the shade and living full time on a boat we know how important it is to be on the shade but also on winter sometimes you also yeah. want some sun so it's yeah, it's and a really nice idea, I really like the idea. A crossing. Sometimes it's nice to see stars and it's another true. opportunity to see stars to open this. That's actually true. I, I, can, I can imagine myself sitting here and seeing some... Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty good actually. It didn't look like, but it seems like this is a watertight door and I didn't think that it was. I love the idea of having the saloon and the galley the same level as the cockpit so you can come and go as like a catamaran. I knew the first thing Robert would see is the galley, that's it's <laughs> always the first thing, but it's awesome. This place, as Robert said, is just fully integrated, like if you're in the galley cooking, anyone is outside, you're just like in the same place. It's pretty much a little bit of a catering on a monohull, and I think that's really cool. And actually, the view from here is amazing. I'm short and I can see everything. And there's one thing that we didn't know, is that they have a TV here, that's really cool. You can even watch your series during the watch. I think it's great. The, the height here is great. You can see everything. It's actually better than I expected. One more thing that we are still discussing is the position of our hatches on our boat. So in this case, they are all in the center. And to be honest, I think it makes sense because you don't have solar panels in the center where the boom creates a shade. And in this way, you can see the sails on both directions, these and this direction. So the sun is not on your head all the time. Okay, coming up. Yeah, that's the good thing about this boat is that there is storage everywhere because of the deck saloon. You have a lot of height. You see, I don't know if you understood that, but from the cockpit to the saloon, you have no uh, stairs, but you have three steps in between the rooms and the saloon. That's really cool. That's the last copy. So we are gonna have the same concept as this one of having a room under the saloon. Yeah, so the good thing about that is that the center of gravity is the center of the boat, and that means that this cabin is the one that moves less. In this boat, that's the main cabin uh, on the bow, and that's the secondary one here. In our case, we decided we're gonna have our main cabin here because we'd rather be on the center of the boat. And I think this is really, really comfy. Just, I don't know, I just like this little space. And also being right on the center is gonna move a lot less. And also being like able this. to look at the ocean I on, your, uh, on I, your cabin. I want this. Uh, I want to have some kind of... Me too. Yeah, right now we still are in time to decide little chains on the boat, so that's a good one. Thanks for the idea, Moody. <laughs> and I like because they have ventilation here True. and there, so it's like crossed ventilation. Ooh, I didn't see this one. Moving forward, shower cabin, not 100% shower cabin because the toilet's inside. In our case, we're going to have a separate toilet to the shower, but this is already really good. And 
there is ventilation I here. Them. Uh, it's don't a think I want to see it. Uh -huh. I do want this. Not sure if I can do. No. Yeah, how better being complaining that on odd we had no mirror that she can see herself fully. I don't know why she needs to see herself. She's beautiful. You don't need to see. Ford cabin. That's a little bit bigger. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's really spacious. I like it, and really bright. That's the thing. I think you need to have a head on the bow that's bright. You need to have light, a lot of light. And also and you can open, can open twice. twice. So yeah. It's Ventilation, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure you have storage underneath the way this door is open. I like yeah, this me too. And they're really big cabinets. And I also like because here, the good thing about these boats is that they use all the little space. Like here, you have something. Oh, if you if you think that's storage, come here. I I know a secret part that you're gonna like the storage. I like this. Oh, cool. Come come. Yeah, Roberta likes storage place. This boat has a storage place that's just unbelievably big. I'll show you. Can you open this hatch? So that's the floor of the salon. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> so how big is this storage place? So we can pretty much see the two of us on the storage compartment that's right under the galley so that means you probably can put like fruit and, fruit and vegetables here you can put like you know little basket of things you have a lot of space inside here or really tools cool. or tools no i think tools you can put in the back because underneath the cockpit seats you have a lot more space even what's oh, here i'm curious now oh bills yeah so this boat has i think it's one of the biggest 41 foot I have ever been yes. related to storage, it's storage everywhere, so that's really good. And also if you want to do like this, yes. so you can store big things here. Yeah. You can take it. Come with me. Oh, by the way. So. How about the seats? Yeah. Oh, big storage. This is a nice space. Yeah. And also I think you have storage, I, I would say. Under all these, you'll probably have storage. And also, the table, table goes down for sure. That's great. That's pretty good. Oh! I need to open there. It's a or There's a hatch there. So, I guess this is the quick access to the engine room. And if yes. you want to have a proper access to the engine room, you lift the cockpit locker but i'm not gonna do that to a big locker it seems to be easy once you learn how to do it but this opens the entire thing so if you need to take the engine out it's really easy just like odd the difference <laughs> is that odd <laughs> had sick effects all over the place and it was a nightmare <laughs> to open it this looks much easier it's just like open three lock mechanism and this boat also has storage here oh. and that's oh. huge oh it's how thick it is Nice. <laughs> yeah, so here it's a really big lazarette that's the air conditioning. So the air conditioning takes some of the space, but on that side, oh, so it's so 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 big, it's a lot of space. It's a little bit deeper than the other one, more space. It's just an empty place, it's like it's storage everywhere, it's and unbelievable. The antennas here. So now, the part of the tour that I like, the deck. The deck is just important because you're gonna go sailing in the deck and it's a special place. So, as you can see, to go up to the deck, we have just these two steps. In our case, we are still considering, but we might have one step there and one step here. That's one modification that we're not sure yet. I really like this concept because when you come up here, that means you are more free to see from through the top and when you're down there, it feels like a center cockpit. So it's a center cockpit with a uh, aft cockpit. Sorry for the change of cameras because <laughs> the other one overheated. We just get excited and we film too much. So the camera, of course, overheated. So what we are going to have in our case is that we are going to have solar panels on the top and also a place to collect rainwater. As you guys know, we are fans of collecting rainwater. 
yes, we we're gonna have a water maker on the new board. We didn't have on the last one because we knew already the board was sold. We didn't want to invest in a water maker. This one we are gonna have a water maker, but even though we have a water maker, I think it's free water. Why not to collect? This boat has a really nice thing. The lines they come to the cockpit. There's a place to store them here. And this seat, um, how big? How big is this seat? So this seat's perfect to me. And then from here is also I really like because when you stand up, you can see forward. But when you sit down, so if you sit here, you can see everything through the windows. That's the, yeah. the other idea. So you can come through here. Another thing that's going to be similar, I'm pretty sure we're going to use the same mess. Odd had an older messing system, so the spreaders were straight. And with a straight spreader, it's a little bit harder to control the hake of the mess. I think that's how you call it. And this one has a little bit angle spreaders, that means it's easier to have the mess on the right position. So the other big difference in between this boat and the one we're gonna build is the rail. We're gonna have also rigid rail, but this, I don't know how you call it, this part of the boat, are, is gonna be flush here, not as high as this, because I, I like the concept they did here is because they hide the roof and that from outside looks like a flush. It creates a nice design with the house of the boat, yeah. with this top part of the boat because it's almost the same level. In our case, as we're gonna have a flush deck from here forward, we don't really need to be that high. But I mean, it's a this design decision. I really like, it looks good for this boat, really good actually. And it looks safe. Looks safe, and also now we're gonna see the anchor locker. <laughs> there's even a ladder here. Easy to assess. Yeah, and it's there's a separation between the chain and the other locker, so we can mm -hmm. store fenders, sails, and that's pretty good. So there's a separation with a watertight hatch. Another watertight hatch. That's another thing that I wish we could change on Odd. Odd split was too far inside the boat, and then the line would just scratch all the time on the edge of the hole, and would just break lines. Here is much closer to the end of the deck, and I think that's really good. Another difference is that the anchor locker is here. On our boat, we're gonna try to send the anchor chain all the way to the mess. I really like the idea of having the weight there. But this is really clean. I really, really like the, the how the hatch opens and how easy it is to access. That's really good, actually. It's a boat that we always wanted to visit. I don't know what you guys think about the design, but it's a really different design than the normal boats you're used to see. And that's why we always wanted to visit the Moody 41. Actually, maybe next month we're gonna visit the Moody 54. Yeah, <laughs> but this size is actually more than enough yeah, for us. Yeah, but the 54 is the first boat that we in life that we got really impressed. In 2016 we went to, before we had a YouTube channel, we were living in Australia and we went to the Sydney boat show and we went into the Moody 54 and I remember you were like impressed. <laughs> for years I said that the Moody 54 was my dream boat for yeah, so, years and years. So it's really good to see the boats that you always seen images and images but it's different when you're in person. Of course we didn't go sailing and I wish we could but that's a boat show, the boat's not leaving the dock right now. Maybe one day we're gonna have an opportunity to sail Moody. But I think it's really cool because there's a lot of little things that are similar the boat show is open. They're speaking on the speaker. That means we are almost, it's time to go. But the, just the last thing, it's important for us to see some measurements in real life because this is the boat that has some little things that are really similar to the boat you're gonna build. And it's, in, it's really good for us to see in real life if the, this size is good, if this size is not good because paper, everything looks good on paper, always. Now it's time to go because the boat show is gonna open. So we see you. I'm next week, I believe we're gonna see you in La Rochelle next week. Oh, La Rochelle is gonna be another cool aluminum boat. We are visiting two boat shows and we are just doing a lot of research and we want to share that with you because I think you need to be part of the whole process because building a boat is not just building, it's actually looking at other boats and learning and searching and talking about boats and visiting boat shows. That's part of life. Yeah, we love it. Yeah, see you next week. <laughs> see you.